Hi guys, this is Saloni and welcome back to our channel Codera. So guys, this is the fifth video of our SQL tutorial series. And in the last video, we discussed some differences between SQL and NoSQL. And in today's video, we will see how you can install MySQL in your Windows machine. So let's start the discussion. So to download MySQL on a Windows machine, open any of your browser and type MySQL. So this is the official website of the MySQL. So click on this link. You will see this interface. Here you have to click this download tab and scroll a little bit. Here you will see MySQL community downloads. So click on this link. After that select MySQL installer for the windows. So here you can see the operating system is MS Windows. So from here we have two different options. But we will select MySQL Installer Community 8.0.3. Click on the download. Here you don't need to log in or sign up. Just click no thanks just start my download. After clicking it, it will start downloading the installer. Let me cancel this download because I have already downloaded this installer. So here double click on this installer and wait for few seconds. So these are the steps to install MySQL. So from here you can select your setup type and we will select the custom setup type. Then click on next. So from here we will select the required products that we want to install. So first is MySQL server. So from here we will select the latest version of MySQL server. And then click on this arrow button. After that we will select some applications. So as you can see here are some applications available. So first we will select MySQL workbench. So this is the latest version. After that we will select MySQL shell. And you can also select other applications if you want to. And here are some connectors are also available. But at this moment we don't need them. And you can also install some MySQL documents if you need them. So we only need these three products. Now click on this next button. After that click this execute button. So here you have to wait for some time while these three products are downloading. Once the downloading is complete then click on this next button and then select execute. And again wait for few minutes while these products are installing. Once the installation is complete click on the next button again click on the next button. So here you can see the default port on which our MySQL server will run is 3306. You can also change it from here. But for now click on this next button. Again next. And here you have to set the password for the root account. So you can give any password. But please remember that password. After that click on the next button. And here we don't need to change anything just click the next and then execute it will take few minutes after that click on the finish button and then click next and finish so here our mysql is successfully installed and this is the mysql shell and this is our mysql workbench so here select this local instance and type your password. So this is our MySQL workbench and we will discuss it in detail in the upcoming videos. Now we will open MySQL command line. So here enter your password. So you can see now you can access MySQL database management system. Now type show databases so it will show you the default databases that means our mysql is working properly so guys here we have successfully installed mysql in our windows machine 
and in the next video we will discuss how we can work in the mysql workbench so guys if you have any doubt then please drop a comment in the comment box thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like this video and subscribe our channel